Yesterday, I was sent something that completely blew me away. Mike McAllister, the creator of the brilliant Ollie theme, has been quietly building a game-changing update to WordPress menus. It includes not one, but two massive improvements. And get this, Mike mentioned he might even release this as a free plugin on WordPress.org. So if you'd like to see that happen, drop a like and comment yes, please, on the video. Trust me, the second improvement is something almost every single website needs, and I'll show you that at the end. But first, let's start with something mega. Here are a few examples of mega menus that I built, and the really exciting part is they're all built entirely with the WordPress block editor. That means you can create any layout you want, absolutely no limits on the design. They're completely native, lightweight, and really intuitive to use, so they feel a natural part of WordPress. Mike has also cracked one of the biggest challenges with mega menus, making sure they scale beautifully across different device sizes, from desktop right down to mobile. And the best part, these mega menus work across all themes. In this demo, I'm using the Oli theme and also the 2024 theme too. As I mentioned, Mike is planning to release the menu designer as a free plugin on WordPress.org and also on GitHub. And I'll drop links in the video description as soon as it's live. And that should be in the next day or so, so keep an eye out for that. Now I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to use it step by step. And the best part is it all uses core WordPress concepts. So it feels completely natural. So here is the three step simple process. So step one, you create a menu template part. Step two, and I'm gonna talk you through all this. Step two, you design your layout inside that template part using patterns here. And step three, you add the mega menu block to your menu and select the template part that you created in step one. All right, let's dive into the step by step. Okay, so here I am in the site editor and I'm first gonna start by clicking on patterns. And these are all the patterns I've got. Now I'm gonna click on all template parts. These are the existing template parts of my theme. I'm gonna start by creating a brand new template part. You can call it what you like. This is what you're gonna call in when you're using your mega menu block. So you give it a name and choose the menu template part. This is the new thing, this is the gold dust. This is where you create your layout. So because we're using blocks, we can create anything we like here. Now the nice thing about the Oli theme is that Mike has helpfully redesigned and designed some beautiful pre-existing mega menu layouts for us, but this is just a shortcut. You can design these however you like because we're just using the block editor. So you create your template part and save it. Now I'm using the keyboard shortcut Command K to open up the command palette and just navigating to my header. And this is where I add my mega menu block. Now this is what Mike has added. So here I am just adding a menu item and I'm just adding a block to that menu item. I'm clicking browse all and I'm just gonna search for mega and that will find the mega menu block and I'm gonna add it. And that just adds it into my menu. Now I give it a label. And again, you can call this whatever you like. I'm calling mine services. Now I'm gonna open up the settings panel and this is where I call in my template part. So I choose menu template over on the right and just select mega. And then all I have to do is simply save that. Let's go and check out the website. And when I click on services now, there's my beautiful mega menu, as simple as that. The whole plugin has been incredibly well thought out. For example, there's this little preview button right within the settings panel so you can preview your mega menus without having to go back to template parts. We have some extra options like open on hover and disable in mobile view. And we also have some nice layout options. But Mike didn't stop there. He's also solved my biggest frustration with block theme menus, the fact that you couldn't easily have a different mobile menu to your desktop menu. And he's done it in such an elegant, beautifully simple way. So now not only can you set different menu items for mobile, you can even create a completely different design. It's brilliant. And here's how it works. So again, we're gonna start by adding a brand new template part. So we've gone to pattern all template parts and click on add new template part. We're gonna give it a name just the same way we did before. I'm gonna call this mobile menu and select the menu template part and click save. And now we're gonna do exactly the same thing. We're gonna design our mobile menu. So click on the plus sign. And I'm gonna use the patterns that come with Ollie. But again, you could create your entirely own design for a mobile menu. You can create anything you like. Here's the one I'm gonna create. I'm just making a few very simple changes here, just so it's me. I'm not gonna change the image though. And once I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna close this down and you can resize these. So you can see exactly what it's gonna look like on a mobile, which is quite handy. And I'm just gonna save this now. And then I'm gonna go back to my header just like we did before. Now I'm gonna click on my mega menu block and click on the little settings icon there. Now scroll down and you'll see a mobile menu template option. In there, I just simply just select my mobile menu. And now that is set as the mobile menu for the mega menu. Click on save, let's go and visit the website. And we should see now when we go into mobile view, 
Watch this, this is very cool. As we go into mobile view, then we have a completely separate menu to the one we had before. So now we have complete control over the mobile menu experience. It's absolutely so elegantly built and so simple to use. It's brilliant. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that useful. I will put a link to Mike's plugin in the description as soon as it's released. And if you want him to release it as a free plugin on WordPress.org, remember to drop a like and comment on the video. And also, if you can like the video, that'd be great because it really helps spread the word of the video. And also, every time you do hit like on the video, our cats get a little treat. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Thanks again. Keep well and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.